I thought I'd just talk a little bit to you about uh, the retail sector, being that the holiday season is just over. Um, I want to talk to you in particular about uh, two retailers, one being a position we own, um, American Eagle Outfitters, and another being Amber Crombie and Fitch, because I think it's a nice little case study. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, there was an article in the Wall Street Journal uh, about how uh, most of the retailers, especially the mall retailers, uh, were discounting in anticipation of a very, very tough December and a holiday season shopping uh, schedule. Uh, except for one, American E. Well, excuse me, uh, Amber Crombie and Fitch decided to take a different tack. They sort of uh, have the idea that they have a premium brand and that discounting will hurt that brand. Uh, they did not discount their products, you know, any more than usual, um, whereas American Eagle actually did. Uh, and you saw it in the numbers. I, I believe the figures were that uh, Abercrombie and Fitch sales dropped uh, about 20% year over year, while uh, American Eagle dropped only 11. Well, Amber Crime Fitch feels that, you know, they'll take that drop um, to preserve the brand. And they feel that they can do that because their gross margins are so high. They have gross margins of about 66%, uh, where American Eagle has gross margin of about 46 or 47. Um, but I, I kind of am not comfortable <laughs> with uh, Amber Crombie's tag. And I say that because their inventory management does not seem to reflect um, their knowledge that the economy was going to take a downturn. They increased their inventory year over year, uh, according to the last uh, quarter report, about 25% year over year. Meanwhile, the sales actually dropped. Uh, American Eagle, on the other hand, in increased their inventory only 7%, and their revenue increased about 1% uh, year over year. I, I just feel American Eagle uh, was much more conservative in their inventory management, and although they'll see their sales drop because of you know this dismal season, they'll be much better prepared to handle it. So even though Abercrombie and Fitch has 60% 66% of gross margins, you know, to me it means very little. Their operating margins are about even with American Eagle. So when the next quarter comes around, I, I will bet that you'll see uh, American Eagle Outfitters operating margins outpace uh, Amber Crombie and Fitches. So we'll see. It'll definitely be interesting.